Uh, hey YouTube, it's me again. It's my channel, you know it's me. I'm gonna do another hair video, like a hair dyeing video, which I don't think I've done in like months. But basically my plan is, well, backstory. So this photo shoot I did, they wanted blonde hair. And at that point I was literally like black box dye and I did like four colour removers or something. I came out this brown colour and the hairdresser did an amazing job and managed to get this colour of blonde. Um, but now my hair is like really damaged. So I need to cut it, I need to do my roots. Uh, I've also, I dyed the tips of my hair orange so they've kind of faded out. So I just need to, just need to have a hair makeover I think. Plan. Do my roots. Tone it with blonde toner. And this is a bleach I'm using. It's like Bleach London Plex bleach. It's apparently anti-breakage, which I need. And I think I'm gonna do some red in my hair, but that is it. Hope it doesn't go horribly. Fingers crossed. Okay, hi YouTube. It's the next day. I've done my roots last night and I forgot to film it. But I mean, you've seen that like a hundred times. I don't really need to film that, do I? I've also lost my tripod, so it's gonna be shaky footage from now on. Um, but I'm gonna do red, I've decided. So I'm gonna part my fringe here, this bit red, and I think I'm gonna try an ombre that you can kind of still kind of see the orange and the tips of my hair. But I'm gonna try and kind of ombre it into my hair. Um, I am using Rock and Roll Red by Manic Panic. It looks like quite a, oh, kind of on the pinker side. It's just red basically, but I bought, I think it was Fire or something from Manic Panic. And it made my hair orange instead of red, so I'm trying to avoid that right now. Not that it's a bad look, but I just want red. So, yeah, I'm going to do that for you. I did my roots really badly, as you can see. They're yellow. I haven't toned my hair either, so... I'm going to do red, tone it white. Basically, how I'm wearing my hair right now is how I'm going to dye it, because my hair's different lengths. Um, if I just do what the under part red and the under part red, it's going to look really chunky and blocky. I'm trying to avoid that. I don't want that at all, so. Yeah, wish me luck. The washing's about to start making noise again, so let me, let's just get on with it, I suppose. This is what we're working with. Like, as you can see, look, like what I was saying before, these bits are what I'm gonna be struggling with. I'm using a stool as a tripod right now as well. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get all the short bits away from my head and then some long bits as well right I'm gonna bubble all that up Urgh, okay I'm just gonna class all of this as a fringe right so these are the front pieces of my hair that usually stick out so we're gonna want to take these bits Take these bits and the long bit. I'm gonna carpy grab this. I'm gonna really make sure they're carpy grabbed. Like you can't really half arse this, you know what I mean? And for this, just try and match it up both sides, I guess, right? Just my camera's gonna die. Like that. I guess, yeah, that's okay. Should probably make it equal. <laughs> that's actually great. Look how bad I've done my roots. My roots are so brassy, it's unbelievable. Okay, that'll do. I guess it's, we can always add red, we can't remove it, do you know what I mean? Okay, um, Making TikTok in the background. Also, ignore these bin bags. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I've found some random class because I have ran out of Kirby's, which is not good. But I'm just going to clip these bits back as well. I'm really making an effort here. Like, I'm really trying to do well. I'm just trying not to bloody get any... Like, my hair is so blonde and so porous. Do you know what I mean? Like, a touch of red on my hair just... 
immediately stain my full head, so... Okay. Can you tell I'm panicking? Right, I've, ne I've, not, I've never really used Manic Panic, you know, not for any other reason than you don't really get it that many places, but... I found it in um, Sally's, which I always forget they have in the UK. So usually I'm Crazy Colour, Bleach London, and um, my main one's Arctic Fox, we all know this, but um, we're branching out today, guys. Right, I better film a little bit of my TikTok, you know. Got that right on my bloody forehead as well, lovely. Yep. <laughs> oh, this is good dye, you can tell. Might start using Manic Panic more. I've got no reason not to, I literally just forget I exist sometimes. I just, my biggest fear right now is I really don't want to have to dye my whole head red. I'm really not in the mood. Sorry if you can hear the dishwasher. I've had red hair about 15 times in my life. And it looks lovely, I'm just bloody over it. Like, I've just had it too much, like, been there, done that vibes. Anyway. God, I'm so on edge. Why have I separated my hair so badly? Oh no. My hair is so frazzled and dry that I'm just like... There's just random strands everywhere. Oh, right, okay. Just yolo on this then. I think red and blonde um, work so well together. They look very complimentary, I don't know why. I could have just gone to a professional, do you know what I mean? But that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna wing it. Why did I decide to curl my hair up like this today? It's not good. Oh, I shouldn't have curled my hair. Why did I curl my hair up like this? Oh, there's a big fly floating around. I don't even have a mirror at the back of me to see what I'm doing. Brad Mundo, eat your heart out. I think if like the opposite of Brad Mundo existed, like as a person, that would be me. Like the antichrist of Brad Mundo. Everything he's against. <laughs> I hate them when I dye my hair because I'm like nervous to start out with and then I get too confident. Like I need humbled at some point, if that makes sense. My ends are so dry. You know what? If this doesn't look good, cut them off because the feeling of my end right now, straw, you could describe it as, fully just straw. Oh my God, the feeling of the tips of my hair. Okay. So maybe I should try and like ombre it like does that look like ombre or no it doesn't is this ombre my hair's like falling out as I'm doing this it's literally breaking off before anyone comments no my hair won't fall out these are vegetable dyes I think they're called they don't damage the hair I'm going to take a little itty bitty rest. Okay. And I'm just going to dye some straw and see. I'm getting too confident. As I said before. And that needs to stop. But no one's here to tell me no, so. Oh no. Like that. That could be cute. If the strands are small enough, I swear it's fine. Looks decent. Doesn't look too shabby. 
the real test is seeing if it'll all fall out or if it'll all run into each other and just have red hair. Wish me luck, guys. Okay, I'm about to wash it out. I'll be back with the results. Wish me luck. Hopefully I don't come back with a full head of red hair. Okay, I'm about to do the hair reveal. Um, it's kind of cool, right? Sorry, the light is so like grey in my living room, but look how it came out. So as you can see, the streaks actually worked. It looks really nice clasped down as well because I just clap. Uh, put clasps in it because it kind of adds like you can kind of see more red but yeah I think it came out really nicely I honestly expected like disaster from the offset but you know what apart from my wonky fringe just needs a little trim it's actually really nice I decided not to cut it because it somehow works like this cute how cute there's not more to say really is there like what can I say? Yep, it turned out good. Thanks for watching, basically. I'm usually like, have a bit of a crisis in my own head when I dye my hair, but this one actually turned out really, really nicely. Hope you enjoyed. Give me a like if you did. And subscribe. And follow me on Instagram, because people keep on following me and my ego is crushed every time someone unfollows me. So, thank you so much for watching. Thanks if you've subscribed. Lots of love. Goodbye.